If the glam metal band Poison has taught us anything, it's that every rose has its thorn. Case in point, quarterback Will Greer, who helped lead the Florida football program back to national relevance before being suspended for PED use. Could the Gators continue their winning ways without him? No better test than sixth-ranked LSU in Death Valley. We pick up the action just before halftime. Tigers quarterback Brandon Harris keeping the play alive and hitting Malachi Dupree. You, me, Dupree? 50-yard touchdown makes it 28-14 at the break. But back comes Florida in the second act. Down seven late in the third. Antonio Callaway fields the punt. You can look, but you can't touch. 72 yards to the end zone, unscathed, and we're tied at 28. Same score in the fourth. LSU lines up for a go-ahead field goal, and this is not a field goal. The kicker, Trent Domingue, gets the edge and scores the game-winning TD. LSU knocks off Florida 35-28, staying unbeaten and dealing the Gators their first loss. In Tallahassee, Bucks quarterback Jameis Winston chilling, enjoying his bye week by watching his alma mater take on Louisville. He had front row seats for the spectacle that is Dalvin Cook. I'm not sure actual Cardinals could have done a worse job tackling here, birds or the clergyman. The 54-yard touchdown makes it 13-7 Florida State. Next, Knowles touch. Everett Golson scrambles and finds Kermit Whitfield. Oh, it's easy being green. Miss Piggy is impressed. 70 yards to the crib, one of three passing TDs for Golson. FSU would score touchdowns on its first five possessions of the second half, topping Louisville 41-21. Let's go to East Hartford, South Florida facing American folk, Connecticut. These highlights are a lesson in sports photography, folks. For starters, this shot needs to be white balanced. Look, I'll do it. Better, right? And this shot needs to be iris down. There is way too much light getting in the camera. Come on, ESPNU. And while we're worried about that, Quentin Flowers is hitting Rodney Adams for a touchdown. 7-zip USF. Jump ahead to the third. 10-7 Huskies now, but not for long. Half-back pass. The Ernest Johnson complete to Adams. The Bulls retake the lead. Later in the fourth, Quinton puts the nail in UConn's coffin, going back to Adams, who ties a school record with three touchdown catches. USF picks up a big road win, 28-20 over Connecticut. 0-6 UCF versus 5-0 Temple. No reason to show highlights here, right? Au contraire, mon ami. Owls QB P.J. Walker intercepted by Shaquille Griffin, and he's got reservations for six with a lucky end zone. The Knights actually led this one in the fourth quarter, but the universe would eventually right itself. Temple goes on to win 30-16. In Miami, the Canes clash with Virginia so Tech. Final seconds of the first the half. Brad Kaya to Rashawn Scott with four ticks left. The U takes a 2013 lead into recess. Scott would catch another TD in the fourth, and Miami wins it 30-20. It was a rough day in Conference USA for schools in the Sunshine State. Florida International lost to the Blue Raiders of Middle Tennessee 42-34, and the Marshall Thundering Herd trampled Florida Atlantic 33-17. The Owls fall to 1-5. But rejoice, Florida A&M fans everywhere. You will not finish the season winless. The Rattlers get their first W, 41-13, over Delaware State. Finally, both Sabres at Emily. Tampa Bay down one zip in the second, but it's tied up faster than you can save Vladislav Nemestikov. His second goal of the year. Then in the third, lightning on the power play. Mad scramble in front of the Sabres net. Tyler Johnson finds Alex Kalorn. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. The Bolts snap their two-game losing streak with a 2-1 win. 31 saves for Ben Bishop. That's it for sports. I'm Paul Ryan.